At South Shore Family Adventures, we're on a mission to share our favorite hiking trails and outdoor adventures so you can get outside, get some fresh air, and have fun with your kids without the screens and technology. Today we're in America's hometown, Plymouth, Massachusetts. And there is a lot to love about Plymouth. From the seafood, to the waterfront, to the history, to the rock, to Brewster Gardens, and the bustling Main Street. Our dad took us to Plymouth as kids, and now we take our kids there several times a year. Today we'll show you our typical walk through downtown Plymouth. Stay tuned to the end for two more places nearby that you should definitely check out. So where should you park? If you're coming to Plymouth, there's a large municipal lot down here by the waterfront, by the East Bay Grill and the Lobster Hut and the Cabbie Shack. During the summer, you do have to pay. It's $2 an hour, which is pretty reasonable. And you can pay at one of these parking pay stations, which are located throughout the lots, or you can pay on your phone, which is a good option because you can always add more time if you need it. Now, it's super busy here today because it's nice out and a lot of people are down here in Plymouth. So we actually had to park a little bit further down the street where there's another municipal lot. Same prices to park. You also can find some meters on the street, but it's all the same price. It's $2 per hour. Again, I suggest paying by phone because you can always add time if you need it. All right, you can see here the two lots we usually use. There's also free parking in the Jenny lot. You could park here and follow our same route, just starting from a different spot. We usually park by the wharf though, because it's near the food, and we usually eat at Lobster Hut. It's cafeteria style, you can eat outdoors, and it's super easy with kids. So we usually eat at Lobster Hut first and park near Lobster Hut and then come on over here to the wharf to look at the water and the boats. There are lots of great seafood places to eat here. We usually choose Lobster Hut because it's easy with the kids. It's cafeteria style and reasonably priced, but we also recommend the Cabbie Shack, especially if you're looking for some really good clam chowder. But any place around here you can't go wrong. They're all great to try. Okay, after you eat, head out along the waterfront toward the Mayflower, Plymouth Rock, and Brewster Gardens. Fun fact I learned in second grade, the reason these ships are painted so many bright colors is because most sailors couldn't read, so the only way they could identify their ship in port was by its color scheme. No trip to Plymouth is complete without a visit to The Rock. Now I'm assuming most of you have been here before. If you're from the South Shore, you know how disappointing the rock actually is. But if you have people visiting you from out of town, be sure to prepare them for just how disappointing Plymouth Rock actually is.
the portico is far more impressive than the actual rock. After Plymouth Rock, cross the street and head into Brewster Gardens, and follow the path along the brook toward the Jenny Gristmill. After checking out the mill, head back towards the wharf, this time walking along Main Street. Just before getting back to your car, you're probably going to want a treat. We usually hit peaceful meadows in the Village Landing Marketplace. If you're not counting calories, munchies and milkshakes on Main Street also serves up decadent and over-the-top milkshakes with some crazy and fun combinations. Hey guys, how does the moon cut his hair? Oh. Eclipse it. <laughs> All right, so it was pretty hopping in Plymouth today. It's early summer, it's, the weather's nice. So there were a lot of people out on the street and we're used to going in the middle of the week during the summer when it's not as crowded. But there's a lot to see and do here in Plymouth. And this is our usual route, starting at the wharf, walking along the waterfront to the Brewster Gardens, up by the Jenny Grist Mill, and then down, I think it's Court Street, or Main Street, whatever it's called. Uh, stopping at Peaceful Meadows on the way back in the Village Landing Marketplace, and then back to the car for the ride home. It's a pretty decent walk, and it's definitely one of our routines. So we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. But wait, there's more. There are two more places nearby that are definitely worth checking out. 
One is Nelson Park, which has beach access, a playground, a splash pad, bathrooms, and a snack bar. This is a great place to come cool off in the summer. The other place that's worth checking out nearby is the Forefathers Monument, featuring Faith pointing to the heavens. She's impressive and a bit creepy. The four figures around the bottom represent liberty, law, education, and morality. And the large woman on top pointing to the heavens represents faith. So that's Plymouth. It's definitely one of our favorite non-hiking adventures, and we hope it'll be one of yours too. Here are two more videos featuring some of our other hiking adventures. We hope you enjoy.